What's going on everybody? This is Outdoors in Maryland. Today we're pulling out the Pit Boss Pellet Smoker and we're doing some pulled pork. Stick around. Look, look. He's grabbing it up. Alright, get him out for you. Get out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. Now, the fat cap is really not that thick. It's not really bad, but you don't really need it. You don't really need it. Um, there's enough fat going through this piece of meat that you don't really need it. And I don't know how much this really matters. But when I do smoke it, any kind of fat cap, I put up, down, up, who knows. Hasn't figured it out. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to trim it up. Okay, and then I'm going to season it. We're going to put it up overnight and we're going to let it set and tomorrow morning we're going to put it on okay but i think i'm going to take most of this cap most of this off Plain mustard. Okay. I'm just going to go in there. Today is the Pit Boss Pulled Pork Rub. Alright, Pulled Pork Rub. That's going to be our rub today. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to wrap her up, stick her in the fridge overnight. I'm going to get up early in the morning. I'm going to pull it out for about a half an hour, 45 minutes, kind of let it get up close to room temperature. And then I'll show you how we start off the Pit Boss Power Smoker. Um, and then we'll go from there. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning, everybody. I will show you my morning face, but trust me. I don't know how my wife puts out with it, but who in the hell wants to look at my face in the morning? Alright, the instructions on the Pit Boss Pellet Smoker is, you want to turn it on. You want to turn it on, smoke, alright? And then you just leave it like that, and they say even leave the door open. So what you're looking for is in here, you want that flame to be really going, really kicking. Alright, so we're going to give it a couple seconds, let it get going. Once that flame gets kicking... We'll shut it up, we'll put it on the temperature we want it, and then we gotta wait for it to come up to temperature. It really isn't that long of a process. All right, be right back. All right. You see how she's rolling? That's what you're looking for. All right. We shut her up. 
we are going to put her on 200 um, 250 and now the temperature this is it's at 105 we'll wait for this reading here to get up to 250 and then we'll be back all right she's been sitting overnight she looks really good she's about nine pounds this is the probe that actually comes with the pit boss um, you want to make sure you put the point of this into the center into the center as possible without touching any bones okay and then we'll set it up and then we can just read it once she gets up to about 200 to 205 degrees we'll pull her off but that's a long way to go that's probably gonna take about 10 hours at least all right be back all right oh she is up to temperature all right put it right there in the center we have the probe will go right there All right, she said. I see a lot of people think, man, look, that says 260, not 250. Well, what you gotta understand is that we're using pallets. The last one that I had was a char pro, uh, char broil um, smoker, electric smoker, but it come with a, a heating element. So when you set it up, it's pretty much like your oven. Um, you added chips and everything. Here, you're basically putting the pellets are actually keeping this thing going. Um, so every time new pellets add in you know your your temperature is going to fluctuate so it might go down to about 240 235 and then once the auger and everything starts bringing pellets back in it'll start taking it back up to temperature sometimes a little bit higher sometimes you know pretty much right at so it's going to be a little off not exactly at 250 because like i said you don't have a element you're using the wood pellets okay all right she's set i'm figuring a minimum 10 hours in a smoker all right we'll see you when we pull her out all right what's going on we just checked on the port and we'll let you take a look at it look at that that's looking pretty god darn good is what i'm thinking all right we are at we are past the stall situation um where between 160 three five um, the stall could be there for a long period of time we we're sitting at about 170 to 174 in the internal so we still got a couple more hours to go but once it's done we'll show you the finished product all right stick it around all right i think she's about done we're going to check the temperature of her i'm pretty sure she's done there we go. it's a smoking there you go look at that all right check inside it look that's real smooth look how easy it is going in there 210 degrees there we're 200 it's 195 but I think we're good there there's the bone look how easy that's going right in there all right she's done we're pulling her off that's probably if you look at it see how easy and it's like no resistance going in she's done all right all right so to shut this pellet the, the pit balls down really all you're going to do is hit the power button you're going to hit the power button off she goes off <coughs> excuse me it's going to stay running okay she's going to stay running and she's going to shut herself down i guess anything is left over inside the little um, auger thing there it's going to burn it off okay all right, now the best thing to do is you're going to want to let it rest. So I know it's going to be it's going to be terribly hard to do, but pull it out, wrap it up in a little full. You're going to let it sit for anywhere between I don't know 15 minutes to a half an hour. Let all the juices get through the meat, and then go and tear into it. All right, we'll be back. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm going to pour it off. Alright, I don't know about you, but look at that. That looks freaking awesome. Look at the meat left. No, oh, don't leave me there. Look how juicy that is. Alright. Alright. She looks good. She is shutting down. Look at the hell you're going to miss. <laughs> Alright, we just brought her in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this up in a little foil. That's what we're doing. We're going to let it rest up here. Alright, we don't need all that, but it's the end of the roll. So what we're going to, we have coleslaw going with it. If you go back to the video that we did before, where um, we did the pulled pork in the oven, we got the recipe for the coleslaw we use. There is no mayonnaise in there because my wife don't like it. So we use the Jean mustard recipes in there. It's pretty good. I, re I like mayonnaise, but it's all about love, you know. All right. So we're going to shred it up soon and we'll show you after it rest. Look at that face. Look at him. My boy. My boy. Alright. We're gonna take this off. Well hell yeah. I think that looks uh, pretty darn good. All right. <sighs> Bear claws. Okay, right inside there. Oh, look, that just comes right apart. That bone should come right. Good. We're going to go ahead and set it up and we'll show you what our sides and the coleslaw. Alright. Hold on, let me. Hold on. I'm going to take a little. Come up to me a little bit. I'm going to take a little saying from the Barbecue Pit Boys. This is Pit Master Privilege here. Pretty darn good. Alright, we're going to set it up and then we'll show you how it looks set up. Uh. So it's the face for the tutor. So there you go. I got two little sliders, coleslaw on top, corn, Old Bay, and butter. You can't have any corn better than that Old Bay and butter. So there you go. There's the end result. Sorry, did you? There you go. All right. See you next time. Make sure you subscribe and get outside, Marilyn.